Well, I want to go through a brief tutorial for how to do some of the concept builders for the um, Newton's Laws of Motion. So remember to log in. You need to click on your account. You should have created an account. If you're a new student and for whatever reason haven't created an account, I sent an um, invitation to your email. So you should have looked in your email about how to complete that process. So there's three concept builders we're going to do with Newton's Laws of Motion. The first one are forces. Um, which are balanced and un versus unbalanced forces. I've described to you how you get the points. The more levels you do, the more points you get. And what I'll do is I'll go uh, to the master level uh, to do a couple of these. There are more different um, variations here as you go from apprentice to master to wizard, le to wizard level. So actually, let me go to the wizard level. I'll do a couple of these. So in this case, it says the diagram below represents forces acting upon a leftward moving object. Each arrow be below represents a force, the length of the arrow represents the strength of the force. So if this is a leftward moving object and there's an unbalanced or a net force to the right, that means it would be slowing down and that is an unbalanced force. And dad away. Here represents forces acting on an upward moving object, so that would be slowing down Unbalanced force, check answer. Want to get to one other variation. Well, that's a little odd. Um, so let's say I have something like this, or say constant speed balanced. Check answers, that's incorrect. So remember that's an ODRATS. And that means next time you go back to this, you'll have to actually um, answer two similar questions there. So this is a data table of velocity versus time. As you look, the velocity is changing. So it's slowing down because it's getting close to zero, and that would be true whether it's coming from above or below. So there's unbalanced forces. If I'm unsure about things, I can go to the Help Me page. This is actually very useful because you can think about this particular question, or you can think about the fundamentals, the situation, or learn more at the tutorial, which basically takes you to um, a particular like little background information about things. So I don't think I need to do this. I think I'm gonna go here, and I'm gonna check my answers. I think that's gonna be correct. So I'm gonna go back to the main menu here. So the next one we would look at would be force and motion. And this particular one, there's three different levels also. So again, the more levels you do, the more points you get. You can have horizontal motion, vertical motion, or both vertical and horizontal motions. So I'm gonna to skip to this one. In this case, object experiencing the force is shown. Each arrow represents the force of the, in the direction. Length of the arrow represents the strength of the force. So which dot diagrams could represent this? So these look like balanced forces. So for balanced forces, I could have an object staying at rest. I could have an object moving upward at a constant speed because there's no change in motion. I could have an object moving downward at a constant speed because there's no change in motion. In this case, I've got an unbalanced force to the right. That could not be an object at rest. It could be an object moving to the right and speeding up. It could be an object to the left and slowing down. But let's say I select three of these and only two of them are correct. I'm pretty sure it's going to give me an ODRATS. Remember, once again, you can go to the Help Me page to either think about this particular question or other aspects. So in this case, I've got an unbalanced force to the left. Could be moving to the left and speeding up or moving to the right and slowing down. So now I'm going to go back to the main menu, back to Newton's Laws. I'm going to look at match that free body diagram. That's the third concept builder that we're going to attempt. Here there's only two levels. So I think I'm giving um, 6 out of 10 for the master level only, 8 out of 10 for the wizard level only, 10 out of 10 for both. So let's do a couple of these in the wizard level. So the situation is described below. Tap on the free body diagrams until you find a diagram that's consistent with the physical situation. So here, a baseball is moving through the air, upward and rightwards toward the peak of its trajectory. 
Well, since it's saying it's moving through air, I'm wondering if there's air resistance, but then it tells me, assume there's negligible air resistance. And negligible means we can ignore it because it's so small. <clears throat> so I think, since there's no other contact forces, I think the only force acting on the baseball would be gravity after it leaves the bat. The next one, a rope is used to lower a bucket downward at a constant speed. So a normal force is a push, not a pull. And so we're looking for a tension force up and a gravitational force down. Well, in this case, you might think this would work because there's tension up and gravity down, but the gravitational force is larger. That disagrees with the fact that we're moving at a constant speed, which says we should have balanced forces. It's not going to be air. Here is the correct one, I think. Tension up and gravity down, but they should be the same size. But I'm going to check the rest of these. Nope, it's not a normal force, not a normal force. And tension should be the same size, so I'm going to check that. The next one, I'm going to pick something purposely wrong. So this skydiver is falling through the air at a constant speed with an unopened parachute. Really, it should be balanced forces, like this. But I'm going to choose this one, where it's unbalanced forces. And again, it's going to give me an ODRATS. Just like before, you can go to help me if you need to think about particular questions or different types of forces. This is also the types of forces that I gave you last week on a handout. And I think those, that handout is actually also on Google Classroom. So hopefully this helps. Remember to log in. You go up here to your account.